presenter and actress Minnie Lamini lived on our screens as the bubbly girl next door with amazing talent, an infectious smile and an undeniable gracious voice. Now, as the years went by, we saw her flourish into a wife and mother and nurturing her talent on the other side of the camera as a producer. She's now back on our screens with a new lifestyle and pop culture show on Mzansi Magic and will soon be on the nail-biting hot seat at the Laugh Africa Comedy Festival show Max Roast. Well, she joins us now to catch up on that session and talk about future projects. Minnie, good morning. Welcome to News of Africa. Good morning. Thanks for having me, in, Paul. Uh, it's been very exciting, especially looking at, um, um, you know, the... The guys in the studio, you've really brought <laughs> light and excitement, looking stunning. You. you make your debut in the world of comedy roasts. I heard that you come from a family of roasters, so this is right up your alley. I mean, yeah, my, my, my family is pretty good at, at roasting each other. We, we don't take life too seriously. We like to make fun of each other. So I thought this would be really fun to do. And, you know, Winston Churchill says you, you've got to take advantage of a good tragedy, right? Yeah. Don't let a good tragedy go to waste. I think that's what he said. Yeah. So that's what this is all about. It's about using all the weapons that have been thrown at me and turning it into something fun, something to celebrate my career and, and to have a good laugh. Are you ready for that? I mean, yeah. it's going to get personal, it's going to get nasty, it's going to get vicious. <laughs> Are you ready to handle all of that with a good sense of humor and comedy and, and really entertain your fans? I mean, to be blatantly honest with yeah. you, I mean, I've been dealing with a lot of these comments and a lot of these statements on social media. I mean, in the last two years alone, mm -hmm. um, I've trended for weeks on end with, you know, people talking about my personal life, true or false. Um, you know, obviously, you know how social media goes. It will go any sort of direction that it goes and it's hurtful and it's painful but this is an opportunity for me to say okay let me hear those comments again but this time let me get paid for it so yeah yeah absolutely why not <laughs> now, are you now ready to to dispel some of the i mean not all of it is factual are you ready to dispel some of it i don't even think this roast is about dispelling it it's about taking a difficult situation turning it into something light and positive celebrating our entertainment industry because that's what the roast is all about i mean just the panel alone is really really exciting can't wait to divulge who's going to be on it but there's going to be a housewife there's going to be some comedians you know we're looking at getting some um sports personalities on the show as well so it's it's going to be very very exciting and hopefully very representative of the entertainment industry as it is yeah yeah you speak a lot now about um, what's happened in your personal life, you know, just really touching on the way that the media, well, social media has, has interpreted your personal matters. How has that empowered you, just looking at your journey? I mean, starting out on, on a music show, doing so much work in the entertainment industry, being, being married, publicly divorcing, yeah. be, being a mother. I mean, the joy, the bundles of joy. How has that shaped you? Um, it's very challenging. I mean, yeah. you look at social media when, when we were on, when I was on live for the first time, that was one of the first shows on the continent that actually integrated social media onto their live broadcast. So my social media currency really stems from there and that's why I've had such a big following. Yeah. So good or bad, it's going to happen. It's going to be talked about. And it's about understanding how to look at it as a business. You know, one of the things you hear all the time is there's no such thing as bad publicity. And although it can be hurtful and then although certain statements can be made and contracts can be lost, there's a silver lining to that. My social media currency went up. My business on social media went up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not everything that looks like a tragedy at face value is in fact that. And yeah. you are able to, to turn something around into something that is beneficial that will help me be a better mother, help me provide better for my son. And that's exactly what this roast is about. It's about, you know, turning lemons into lemonade, if you will. Oh, that's amazing. Your son is now three years old. Yes. How's that experience been like? It's tough. Being a single mom is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really difficult. Um, but um, it's incredibly rewarding at the same time. You know, I, I have a strength in me that I didn't know I have. You don't know how strong you can be until it's the only option that you have. Um, my work ethic has completely changed because it's no longer about me anymore. I've got a whole life that I need to provide for. Um, I want him to look at me and I want to lead you know, lead by example. I want him to look at me and say, yes, my mother can do anything and therefore so can I. Um, so, you know, I try to bring him with me into studio. I try to bring him to work with me um, just so that he can get a taste of, of seeing what it's like to, to really put yeah. your foot down and, and work. And no matter what's 
going on in society, your work ethic should never be compromised. It's International Women's Month. Yes. A lot of what you're saying is, uh, you know, looking and inspiring a lot of women who may be thinking, oh, you know, I've had quite a rough time, but uh, there, there's another way to look at it. We are also learning, well, it's, it's being suggested or reported that your divorce is not final. Is that true? That is very true. My divorce is still ongoing. So therefore, obviously, there's not much I can divulge. But, um, you know, no one goes into a marriage thinking that they're going to be divorced. You know, you splash this whole thing on television. I did not expect that it would end in a divorce. And I don't think anyone goes into a marriage expecting that. But life happens. And when that happens, you've just got to realize that you've got to keep moving. You've got to, you've got to keep pushing. And it's an opportunity for me to to really get back into who I am you know a lot of people you'll speak to who have gone through divorces or are going through divorces yeah. there's a huge sense of loss and a huge loss of self that happens in that process um, and for me this journey of, of self-discovery rediscovering myself and rediscovering who I want to be moving forward has been incredibly rewarding and being honest as you introspect I mean that's really powerful in itself I mean as I touched a bit on the importance of international Women's Month and voices like yourselves inspiring others to just get up and get with it already. What, what kept you inspired as you went through the, the big decisions that you had to make? Um, my family is incredibly supportive, and I think that's always been my saving grace. I've got an incredible social circle of a sisterhood of women that support me, that look after me. I remember when I announced my divorce, um, my girls in the industry who have publicly gone through their own divorces yeah. were right at my door telling me that you're still going to go through this, you're still going to go through this, um, you know, go easy on yourself. And I'm so grateful to have some incredible women by my side. Um, my mother's really been my pillar of strength, um, and my father. So that um, incredibly supportive um, aspect of my life has always been something that um, I pride myself with and what's always helped me go through the difficult parts of my life. Mm. And very lastly, what can we look forward to? I mean, in April, we'll see you on our screen. Yeah. It's going to get exciting. What, what are you personally looking forward to and what can we look forward to as an audience? I'm excited about the roast. I'm excited about the panelists, seeing um, our different personalities in South Africa, um, you know, showcase their comedy skills and, yeah. and, you know, roast me a little bit. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the festival itself is a three-day festival. There's Eddie Griffin who's going to be there on the second and the, and the last day. Um, so that's going to be really, really exciting. I encourage everyone to go get their tickets at Ticket Pro. Um, it's going to be such a fun night. Um, if you know anything about me, I love to have a good time. I love to have a good laugh. So it's going to be spicy. It's going to be flavorful. And then in my personal career, I'm obviously a producer. So I've been producing um, some TV shows. And there's an international show that's coming out in about June or July that I cannot wait to share with the rest of South Africa. Being behind the scenes. I mean, as you came into the studio, you were like, oh, I haven't done this in a long time. But like, uh, how has it felt just uh, nurturing your other talents, being a producer behind the scenes as opposed to being on screen? It's great, babes. I don't have to wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's really, really fun. Yeah. I love um, flexing my creativity. You know, I love being in front of the camera. But to see something come from an idea all the way to execution is absolute magic. Yeah. And that's what I fell in love with when it comes to this industry is the magic of talent television, seeing something from an idea all the way to execution. I mean, that's why we do what we do. Thank you so much for coming in studio. An me. absolute pleasure. Uh, looking forward to all the excitement. Media personality Minnie Lamini talking to us about uh, all of that.